I'm Deacon Patrick Roach with the Mustard Seed Missionaries. Welcome to our Lenten Reflection Series. Each Thursday for the next few weeks, myself and other members of the Mustard Seed Missionaries would like to offer a short video reflection on the sufferings and passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hopefully through these short video clips, you'll be able to enter a little more fully into this holy season of Lent and appreciate more the love that our Lord Jesus Christ has for each one of us. So we begin our series with a reflection from Luke's Gospel. We're going to look at Luke chapter 22, verses 63 and 64. And the men who held Jesus in custody were ridiculing him and beating him. They blindfolded him and questioned him, saying, Prophesy for us, who is it that struck you? We know that during Jesus' passion he was beaten several times. We have this passage from Luke's Gospel that tells us he was beaten by the temple guards, and we have passages in the other gospel that tell us he was beaten by the Roman soldiers after he'd been scourged and crowned with thorns. So we know that Jesus was beaten. How many times or how long those beatings endured, we don't really know. We don't have those details. But it's been said that when the scriptures lack detail, it's often because the gospel writers could not express in words what really happened. So given that understanding, we can imagine that Jesus' beatings were severe. But we need to remember that Jesus endured all his sufferings and his passion for love of us. He endured in a particular way these beatings, this physical and verbal abuse, and to atone for our sins, for our sins of physical and verbal abuse that we inflict on others, and also for our judgments of others that are often unfair or unjust. Could Jesus have stopped these beatings? Could Jesus have stopped all these persecutions? Of course he could, but he didn't. And the reason he didn't is because it was only through his passion, death, and resurrection that perfect atonement for our sins could happen. We need to remember that Jesus loves us so much that he chose to endure his passion and death for us. He could have easily prevented it, he could have easily stopped it, but he didn't. The love that our Lord Jesus Christ has for us, that God has for us, is something that in this life we'll never fully understand or appreciate. His love is so great that it is unique to each individual person. His love for me, his love for you, is unique to us. There will never be anyone created in past history or future history that has loved the way our Lord loves us. His love is unique, his love is individual, and his love is unfathomable, as St. Faustina says. We will never understand it, at least in this life. So it's his love that allowed our Lord to freely enter into his passion and death. It's his love that allowed him to endure these beatings for us, for our sins. Our Lord endured these sufferings because we could not do it. He entered into his passion to atone for our sins because we could never fully pay the price of that atonement. And he loves us so much that we will still never, no matter how much we try, understand or fully appreciate that love for us. So as we enter this holy season of Lent, let us spend a few minutes each day reflecting on the passion and sufferings of our Lord Jesus Christ, and at the same time reflecting on that great love for us that allowed him to enter into his passion and death and resurrection for us. As we reflect on these things, let us thank the Lord for his great love for us and for all of the things that he endured during his passion. And remember, this is how much our Lord loves us. He was beaten, he was physically and verbally abused for love of us. That is how much our Lord loves us. Thank you, Lord, for your great love for us. Amen.